Okay, so what is JSON? JavaScript object notation? Fine. Does anyone have any clue about what JSON is? I mean, has anyone worked with? Okay, cool. Cool, there are two people. So I'll not be wrong in what I'm saying, okay? Uh, it's basically, I have, say I have a Pojo with four members. In this case, I'll say book name, the author ID, or the author name, and the ISBN number, okay? Now, once I have that Pojo, okay, I'm, I, I'm already creating a class called, uh, say, book, which has three methods, three getters and setters, as I have three members, okay? Now, on that, I'm including another class, say, book manager, which has, I'm creating four objects of that book, okay? I'm giving them the name, setting this app attributes, okay? And thereafter, I have another method that returns me the complete list. Correct? So that list, I'm displaying it to the user. Okay? So once my list is displayed, what then I do is, if I just scroll over or hover over that name, it sends the book ID. Okay? When I hover, it sends the book ID to the function, appropriate Java function. Okay? That Java function has some bind arguments that we call. And that bind arguments are in the form of name and value pair. Okay, so what that name and value pair is simple, it has which page I want to talk to, that is URL, the method, whether it is get or post, generally it is, I mean, people keep it get or post, but if you, it's something related to passwords or something like that, it's almost secure to put it post. And once it does that, it goes to that page that I'm calling to, okay, it returns me some objects, okay, but this time it returns me a string of objects. Okay, so what I'm doing is, I have, I'll just, re um, just uh, talk over this again. This method, this class that I have, has four, uh, four members. Okay, each member has a value when I'm setting it uh, using the object notation or the object dot, the ma ma member name notation. So once I do that, and I pass it through a JSON string, okay, the J J uh, in Java, you have something called JSON uh, class. So you import that and you have a uh, two JSON string. Uh, that is the method that you just have to use it. That object, whatever your object is, say in this case it is book one, if I'll take it, and I'll pass that in the form of a string. Now when I pass this string, it comes in the value of name and, as I said, name and a value. So well, the name would be the member name and the value is the value associated to that. Okay, so that is what it's written, it's basically, so, when you see something like this, how are you going to store multiple name, name and value pairs? So you could visualize it in array or something which is almost similar to vectors in Java. Okay, it could also be a list. Okay, but the problem with this is when I'm sending the JSON object, I mean when I'm sending the string, I get it into two forms, either the type, uh, rather I'll go that into that when I explain the code. So, uh, how is this used as as it's apparent right now? We're just going to go through a page that is in, I'm requesting for a page that would return me something, okay? And I'll use that something that I'll keep it uh, at the moment when I explain the code. That something would do all the backend work for me, okay? So that something would be something in Java, JavaScript, okay? So, so what are we waiting for? Let's have the code here. Okay, so this is my page. Okay, I just have five books over here. Now, once I scroll over this, if I scroll over this, that is, I get the ISBN number and charge chicken. URL does not change. It's only the, it's, it gets the feeling of it is Ajaxified. Okay, but I'll just show you, there are only two methods behind this. Okay, two methods that does all the back end work for you. Say this. My PC, my laptop is lagging from morning, so it's right here. Okay, so and it displays. Now, in this case, what it it actually does, it just talks to that object. I'm passing the book ID. So this has book ID one. Okay, I have a, another class called book manager. Okay, that book manager copies it. Uh, I guess this will. Sorry, for me. I forgot to record it, so it's okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, so what it does is basically it sends the book ID to another book manager. Uh, that